Hello, my name is Cherry Griffin and I am a graduate student in the New Media and Journalism online degree program. Earning my master's degree here will, at Full Sail will only amplify the skill sets that I already obtained to help me fulfill my desire to inspire, encourage, empower, and educate others through storytelling. I want to be able to show people that it's okay for you to redirect and repurpose your life. See, everybody at birth is given this blank canvas of where we're supposed to plan out our future, where we're supposed to decide how we want to live in this unpredictable thing that we call life. In my video today, I am going to share with you how I reclaimed my passion and my pur purpose and vision for life. So this class kind of excited me, especially when I read Robert Greene's Mastery, where he talked about the five strategies to finding your life purpose. I was excited because I was already doing it. I just didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing it. See, when I was young, at a very young age, I knew I wanted to be an attorney and I was going to do everything I could to be that attorney. But as we have it, life happened. My desire to get a college degree and go to law school died in 1985. I found myself as a mother, a wife, and then three kids later and a divorce. I had nothing but regrets and empty promises. Now, my regrets weren't my children. My regrets were that I didn't stay focused and I didn't fight hard enough to finish my goals, to complete those empty promises. And my life was in a desperate need for a turning point. And that happened on October 3rd, 2016. I had a TIA, a transient ischematic attack. That's a mini stroke. I tell people all the time, believe it or not, having that saved my life. You know, as I was there laying there, I can hear all the commotion and everything going on. And clear as day, I heard this voice that said, hey, do I have your attention now? Are you ready to do what I need you to do? And I was like, I ain't got nothing else to do but sit here and get better. So I had to do one tough thing. And that was confront me, confront my own de demons and forgive me. So fast forward, six months into recovery, I walk into my doctor's office, I'm talking, I, I have no physical deformities, and, and I'm walking, and he was surprised, and I said, God got a plan for me, he ain't done, so I got to go do it. But the real heroes in this story, guys, are my children, because them boogers used my own words against me. What they told me was, Mom, what you ain't going to do is you're not going back to a job that caused you so much stress that landed you here. You're going to go finish what you started years ago. Because you can't do something and not finish it. Start something and not finish it. So in 2017 of September, I enrolled in Oglethorpe University. That was me refining or redirecting my origins. Coming back to the root of where I could get my passion and find out what it is. Then I enrolled in business management. And y'all know I did that because it was the easy way and that's what I was doing. But mm -mm. after a semester, I realized that wasn't for me. So I got into communications. That was me avoiding a false path. Then I got into digital storytelling and lo and behold, I found my niche. I had to occupy my niche. I had a passion for storytelling. So I had a second major film and media studies. The toughest part now was letting go of the past. So I had to take that deep breath and do it. But you know, fear is something crazy. It had me by the throat and I was scared to death. But I turned fear from being my nemesis to my helpmate. So I look at fear now as finding every available resource to accomplish my dreams and my goals. What I want to accomplish in the next three weeks is I want to find a mentor that can help me maneuver my way through this media journalism, this journalism world, a journalistic world through media. And then I want to be able to create a video, um, my very first video on redirecting your purpose and see how it goes. So that's what I want to do here at Full Sail University. 